What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick five minute natural makeup routine. The It's just what I do basically every time I wear makeup just because I'm not a beauty guru. I don't put on a lot. I don't even wear foundation. I just kind of put something together and it looks natural but it doesn't look like I'm wearing nothing and it makes me look more alive. So that's what I'm going to show you and I'm also going to add in a little TikTok hack that I saw and so I'm going to be doing the TikTok hack plus what I do on a regular basis. The TikTok hack is that you put your moisturizer on, then a translucent powder, then setting spray. Let that sit and then you put your primer on and then your foundation, which I don't wear foundation so I'm going to do what I do instead of foundation and you'll see what that is. But I don't have like an actual moisturizer that I use. I use Aveeno eczema, baby eczema lotion because I'm pretty sure I have some kind of dermatitis like around here. It gets really red and bumpy so this helps a lot with that. So that is what I use but use whatever moisturizer that you want. During this whole quarantine I thought my face was gonna not break out as much because I'm I haven't been wearing makeup like at all but no it's doing the exact opposite and it's freaking out on me so great we love that okay then translucent powder I use Laura Mercier because she makes some bomb makeup products I'm almost out so I need to get some more but apparently you're supposed to just put it all over your face which this is so weird to me why would you put translucent powder directly over moisturizer okay did that then you're supposed to use setting spray which I don't have an actual setting spray I use this I don't even really know how to say that name but you know what I mean I've been going back and forth between the cucumber green tea one, it also has aloe, and the rose water one. The rose water is always going to be my OG, but I decided to switch it up for a little bit, so. Okay, and you're supposed to just let that dry, but we don't have all day, I got things to do. I feel like it's dry enough. Okay, after your setting spray is dry, you're supposed to go in with primer. I use the Urban Decay Optical Illusion because it's very blurring. Nobody wants to see pores. So I get rid of those with this primer. And I don't always use primer. Um when I'm feeling like I got some large pores then I'll use it and like I said I don't use foundation so this is what I use instead it is the Kat Von D shade and light cream contour palette it is disgusting because I I don't know I just use my fingers so that's what I'm gonna do I use this dark one so we're just gonna contour that out and depending on what time of year it is, depends on how much of each color I do. Just because we gotta match our color. Let's match the nose. And then I'm just gonna... But don't worry. I forgot my light pulled. Okay. I always have like a wipe that I just set in my lap to wipe my fingers on because my fingers get really dirty doing this and then I'm gonna take the lightest one right next to the one we just used and put it on top of all the dots to get that perfect color we're going for so that it matches my skin I'm sure people are just mortified by the way I'm doing my makeup but I also use this one as my concealer so I put it under my eyes and on my eyelids and at the base of my nose because that's where I get my redness. Now 
that all of that is on there looking real interesting. We are going to blend it out. I use a flat brush. It's called a kabuki brush. Is that what it's called? Or is that like the really large one? I don't know. But I just take my same spray and wet it so that it blends out very nice and smooth. I rub and I pat just because if you rub too much it's just gonna rub away so rub gently and I know this looks very dark on camera but I promise it's not that dark in person and you're gonna keep blending so it's gonna I blend my eyes last I don't have a reason I just that's just the way I do it my eyes and my nose I do last so and I keep spraying it because I like it very dewy very very natural very blended out the more your brush is wet the more natural it's going to look I think I don't know that's just what I do most people use a beauty blender but I like the way a brush works. It works for me and what I want it to do. And I go down with the nose so that the the lines stay where they are and you get that nice matched look. Also my eyebrows, they are atrocious right now because everything's closed and I can't go get them done. I think I'm gonna get some beard dye and maybe a wax kit and attempt to do it myself because I have no brows and they need to be tinted. Okay, now that that is all done, I am going to get rid of my pimples because I don't wear foundation, it doesn't really cover it. I'm probably doing this all kinds of wrong, but this is, this is just what I do, so. I take my shade and light palette, that light one again, and I take this brush. I don't know, it's very small. And we are going to spot correct with this. It's like your makeup is art. You have to be very precise and detailed with this, this, this step because it really works. And we just go spot by spot. Put a little on, dab it with your finger. And I'm not super worried about them being completely gone, so I don't go until they're gone. I just go until they're lightly covered. And they don't stick out like a sore thumb. Also, I said that this was a five minute thing. If you don't have spots to correct, it might be a five minute thing. But for me, I take about five minutes just to do this. Plus I'm talking and getting distracted, but usually this is a very quick process. So after I do that, I go back in with my Laura Mercier because I'm a very oily person. So I put a little bit there, under my eyes, down next to my nose, and on my chin. But not a lot because we don't have foundation on, so if we put too much it's going to look weird. After I do that, I go in with my Park Ave Princess. I need more because I literally only use that shade right there. And I sometimes use these um, to brighten my under eye. Taking my brush, we go to that color and we buff it out. I love a bronzed face. And I do like a circular motion just so it looks more natural. Just blend it out real, real nice. And that looks good. And then I use the same, where'd it go? I use the same brush that I use for my powder to kind of bring my under eye. I'd use both of those. Go under there. And also in between my eyebrows and above them. And right there down the middle really. We want curves in our face. We don't want it to be flat. We want dimension. What do I do next? Brows. I do brows next. This is 
sometimes takes me a long time, especially because my eyebrows aren't done and <laughs> they're struggling, but it's fine. I'll probably speed this part up because it might take me a minute. Shape the front. I usually have a brow gel that I put on to kind of like set it in place, but I'm out and Sephora's closed, so love that. And then I'm going to take my same bronzer palette in that, this shade right here, it's called Princess Cut, and just kind of go in the crease, not very much, just to give it a little bit of color, it makes your eyes really pop when you do this. Then I put just a tad bit underneath, just a little. Okay, a little bit of color, good enough. Then we're going to take our Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Blissful. That's what it looks like, we're gonna take that with our little, I used the angled one, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to use for blush, so that's just what I use. And just swipe it on there. I usually like pat for a blush. I don't really know why. I just feel like it gives it a more natural look when you pat. And I also take my blending brush again and put it in the blush and then put it in my crease. Just because we just want a little bit of color. But not too much because then you'll look like you have a black eye. Then we go in with highlighter. I use the Becca Ski Glow. It was a, it was like a Christmas thing once. It's super pretty. Oh, there's the camera. I usually use these three. Mostly the pink and the bronze one though, just because the white gives you just a little too much sometimes, but I kind of just go back and forth and then just swipe right there. Give it a nice glow. And then we put a little bit on our nose and our lip. And then we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna go into all of them and put it on our eyelid. Once again, this has been more than five minutes, way more than five minutes, but I'm explaining everything I'm doing and I'm showing you what I have, which is taking up some time. Usually, I just smack this together real quick and it doesn't take me any time at all if you really 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 want like supernatural i wouldn't put too much on your eyes but that's just what i like to do gives them a little bit of a pop and depending on your eye color depends on what like shade you should do but my eyes are green so going for like a nude pink is what really makes my eyes pop before I do mascara, I like to spray my face some more and kind of dab this just to make sure everything's really nice and blended out. We're going to go in for our mascara. I curl my lashes and then I use the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. Literally amazing right here. Amazing. And then... I used this little bottle, it has, um, it did have clear in it, it's kind of black and it still has kind of clear in it and sometimes I'll just spray this and go over it, it helps get the clumps out and I also use the smaller brush for my lower lash line, but I don't use the actual mascara, I leave like the, I use the residue from it to go over it so it's not like, boom, it's more natural, if that makes sense. Curl doom. I do one side at a time. Then we're gonna take this. I love the small bristles. You get a really good, really good look with that. And I don't go over it too many times because we want a natural look. Before I used this one, I kind of let it dry just a little bit. And now to do the other one. And 
and it never fails. I always get some on my eyelid. But it's okay, we got a trick for that too. The lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with this one. And then we're going to do the lower lashes. Very natural. See? Wow, looks good. Now we're gonna take care of that um that mascara we got on our eyelid. I didn't even tell you what brow pencil I use. I used the Anastasia brow is because it's the best brow pencil out there. Okay, okay. That's what I'm gonna use just because it's a softer bristle and we're gonna just glide around where the mascara was and boom, it's gone. That's the makeup look. We're gonna spray it again. And that's it. Pretty natural. Um, not too much highlight, but this is good. After I'm done, I'll go back and make some finishing touches and whatever, but I think it looks pretty good. Those aren't completely covered, but like, and it wouldn't be a natural look if you couldn't see that, so it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that is my five minute makeup routine. Like I said, usually I go a lot faster, but I was explaining everything and going more in detail. I almost forgot. You gotta finish with lips, duh. I use some Vaseline Rosy Lips. Oh, this is my favorite stuff in the world because it gives a little bit of color. And keeps your lips hydrated. Yes. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today and watching this video. If you made it to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.